I work here in the Wilton Test Kitchen. I'm so excited to be here hosting today's episode with you guys. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these buttercream flamingo cookies. These cookies are so sweet, they're going to be the perfect addition to your next summer party. Before we get started, though, you want to make sure that you are following Wilton on Facebook so you can always be notified every time we go live. And we'd love to hear from you guys, so leave us a comment and let us know where you're watching from. So you'll be able to find the instructions, recipes, and everything you're going to need to make these cookies in the link down below. So I already baked my cookies and I use our rollout sugar cookie recipe. You'll be able to find this on our website. This is a great recipe. It comes together really quick and easy. There is no need to chill this dough before you're rolling and it's perfect for shaped cookies because it holds its shape together and it bakes nice and flat. And for these cookies, I use the six piece fondant cutter set. I use the largest cookie, it gets labeled cutter A, and it's about two and three quarters inch. Okay. And the buttercream that I'm using to both ice and decorate these is our creamy decorator icing. It is my favorite decorator icing. It comes in this four pound bucket and it is the perfect medium consistency. So let's go ahead and get started. Just gonna go ahead and pick up some icing here with my spatula. I'm just gonna be using an angled spatula. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that right in the middle of the cookie. And the color that I'm using to get this, um, this aqua blue, I use a little bit of teal mixed with a little bit of Kelly green. And I'm just using my spatula to kind of push the icing around in a circular motion until I cover most of the cookie. I don't want to go all the way to the edge and leave a little bit of space on the edge of the cookie so it makes easier the cookie easier for your guests to pick up when they're enjoying your cookies. People are tuning in from all over. Awesome. Hello everyone. Thank you for watching. And if you're just uh, tuning in now, I'm going to be making these buttercream flamingo cookies. I'm going to start off with icing our cookies. And if you prefer, instead of using a spatula to ice your cookies, you can go ahead and pipe the icing on with a bag. You can use a tip or you can just cut the end of your bag off. And what size cookie was that again? Uh, this is cutter A from the six piece set and it's about two and three quarter inch round. So once we have our cookies all iced, we're gonna go ahead and get to the fun part of piping our flamingo. So again, the medium consistency buttercream, I have it tinted with our pink color. And I'm using a coupler on this bag because we're gonna be changing our tips out, so it's gonna make it a lot easier. And I'm starting with a round tip. This is tip number eight. Go ahead and take this cookie. It's already kind of crusted over a little bit. And I'm gonna hold my bag straight up and down as I pipe the flamingo's head, neck, and body. And the shape of this guy is kind of like a number two. Okay, well, there's the general shape. And then to give him more uh, body, we're gonna go ahead and pipe a little bit more icing on the bottom edge of this number two, just to kind of fill him out a little bit, just like that. Now he's starting to look a little bit more like a bird. So I'm going to go ahead and... Start. What shade of pink is that? This is uh, just our regular pink, pink gel color. I'm going to go ahead and switch to a tip 101. Tip 101 is a petal tip and it's uh, kind of like a teardrop shape. It has a wider end and a narrow end. And with this tip we're going to pipe ruffles. Let's go ahead and show you on a board before I pipe it on the flamingo. So you're going to go ahead and hold your bag at an angle with the wide end of the tip on the surface. And you're just going to uh, pipe consistent pressure and as you're piping you're going to move your bag in a back and forth motion. And this technique is the easy ruffle technique. And we're going to go ahead and pipe this in layers or rows to kind of give it that feathery fun look. And this technique is such a fun and easy ruffle. It has uh, such a great look. A lot of people loving the look. Great. It's super easy. Hope everyone tries it. 
So now let's go back to our flamingo. And I'm gonna start at the end. I'm gonna pipe one petal kind of here at the, his tail end. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start my ruffles. So again, just consistent pressure. Just kind of doing that zigzag motion, moving my bag back and forth. And this is just our pink icing and it's a medium consistency. Kind of looks like a swan right now, but we're going to go ahead and take care of that. So when I piped uh, this ruffle, I did this one from side to side, but there's a couple of different ways you can pipe these. On this guy, I just piped a couple of ruffles to kind of give him a wing. And then on this one, I piped it, the ruffles. I started at the bottom and went to the top. A couple of fun different options. Got some people that are going to try this out today. That's awesome. This is a great technique for beginners. It's so fun and easy and and it has a great effect. So I just switched to a tip number two, which is a small round tip. I'm going to go ahead and pipe my legs. So the first leg is going to be a straight leg. We're just going to pipe consistent pressure, just a straight line. And then our next leg is that iconic flamingo leg. So we're going to go ahead and pipe that little triangle and it's going to overlap a little bit. Just like that. Now he's starting to look more like a flamingo. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish off his face. For this one, I'm gonna use white icing and I have it with a tip number two. And we're gonna go ahead and pipe the little white part of his beak. So I'm just gonna kind of pipe a little dot of icing. And then we're gonna go in with some black icing. And for this, I have it fitted with a tip number one, which is the smallest round tip. And we're gonna kind of fit it right next to the end of our white icing. And we're just gonna pipe a little bit of a beak. And then once we get that, we're gonna pipe his eye, which is just a little curved line. What tips are you using? Uh, for the flamingo body, I used a tip eight for his head, neck, and the, his, the shape of his body. Then I used tip 101 for his ruffles, and tip two for his legs, and then for the white icing, it was a tip two, and the black icing is tip one. Now to finish this guy off, we're just going to go ahead and pipe some dots around the border. And again, I'm going back to my pink icing, still has my tip number two on it. So we're going to hold our bag straight up and down and squeeze out a dot of icing and then release our pressure and then twist our wrist to kind of break off the edge of that icing. So if anyone has any last questions, you want to go ahead and type those into the comment section. We'll do our best to answer. And then piping these dots around here. And again, just a reminder, I'm using um, the cookie recipe that I use is our roll-out sugar cookie dough. It's a great recipe. I recommend everyone trying it. And then the icing is a medium consistency. I used a mixture of teal and Kelly green for this aqua blue. And then pink for my flamingo. Let us know if you have any fun summer baking plans coming up. That guy is all done. So from birthday to retirement, these flamingo cookies will add the perfect amount of sweetness to your summer celebration. For more easy summer decorating ideas, be sure and visit our website at wilton.com. And thank you so much for tuning in and joining us today. I had such a great time sharing these adorable cookies with you. In case you missed the beginning or any part of this episode, you can always go back and rewatch it on our Facebook page under the video tab. Happy decorating!